Cambodia's operations scam has left many job seekers scared. Thousands of job seekers were lured into taking up a well-paying job in Cambodia. The only eligibility criteria was adequate computer skills. Many took up the opportunity only to find out later that their job will be to scour the internet for users who can be tricked into investing in an online scam. People who refused to do the job were threatened of electrocution. Take a look at this next report by one of the victims of this scam. In the Gulf of Thailand, a once sleepy resort town has been transformed by Chinese investment. But the casinos of Sihanoukville, a hub for Chinese gamblers, have also become a focus for organised crime groups. They've switched from gambling to scamming. Once I arrived, it was too late to escape. At that time, I didn't suspect him, but some of my friends had warned me to be careful, saying that there are many scammers online. People from China and Hong Kong to Vietnam and Thailand have been sucked into what a UN official calls a living hell. Buildings that look like nondescript apartments like these are actually ground zero for scamming operations. A victim by the name of Lu was attracted to work in Cambodia by promises of high salaries in construction work. But he ended up in a compound with hundreds of other workers unable to leave. I tried to escape four times. I got beaten really badly a couple of days. That's how it was. But as long as I survived the beatings, I would try to escape. Lou and others would seek targets online and groom them to invest in cryptocurrency platforms. They did this by setting up fake online profiles on TikTok, Instagram and WhatsApp. Where scammers once approached their victims over the phone, more and more the trend is to use social network apps under the cover of cryptocurrency investment and targeting middle and high income earners. Annie, a young professional in Hong Kong, said she was subject to a love scam. She met a good-looking Chinese engineer on the dating app Bumble. He called her almost daily but they never met in person. She was then tricked into trading cryptocurrency on a fake platform. I think the pandemic has made many people feel more lonely. And at this time, there's a person who speaks in your ear every day, though you don't see him. I sometimes joke that he kind of provided a service only that you don't know the service would cost you so much. There are fears that cracking down on scammers in one area may push the group simply to relocate to another country. We're going to need Cambodia to take action with Thailand, Laos, Myanmar, the Philippines. Basically, the ASEAN region needs to come to terms with the fact that this, the conditions that criminals are looking for are basically scattered across certain parts of this region, very, very favorable to them. So let's put on the table what types of illicit activities, criminal activities are taking place there, how we, can we address those criminal activities holistically, strategically. If not, we're going to have them bounce around the region and just go from place to place. Deprived of money and passports, trafficked workers have found it difficult to escape. Cambodian police carried out a string of high-profile raids on scam compounds in the summer. But observers fear those responsible may simply relocate and hunt for more victims. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.